Mm. When did you meet Marlon? In 1955 in the commissariat Paramount. Did you? What happened when you met him? He just asked for an int introduction, and then a, a couple of days later, he phoned me for to have dinner with him. And coming from a very strict family, I said I would love to, but he'd have to bring a friend along. Oh, and so did he? He did, yes. Did he really? Mm -hmm. um, and then did he ask you to marry him shortly thereafter? No, I came down with tuberculosis. I was in the hospital for 10 months. Oh, my gosh. And uh, during that period, I fell in love with him. And then we got married, yes. Why, was he attentive then? Very attentive, very kind to me and to the other patients and to the nurses, yes. Well, now, in your book, apparently after the, the marriage, things fell apart. Well, as soon as I was on my feet, uh, as soon as I was able to make my own decisions and carry on with my own life, he didn't like that independence. Oh, so you think that was what really mm -hmm. happened? Yes. Well, uh, what, are, what are some of the things that he did to you? What, what, what was, you were married for how long? Very short time, a really. Year. Just a year, yeah, and, yes. and in that time you became pregnant with your son? Yes. Um, what happened, though? What did he, what did he do to uh, well, you? Well, uh, I, I was new to the country. I was new to the business. I was suddenly thrown in with business managers, publicity agents, uh, theater people, uh, studio people that I couldn't contend with. I didn't know how to. Uh, there was a lack of communication between Marlon and myself. There was a language barrier, which we tried to overcome. And things got more and more difficult, and finally it did break. Why did you wait 20 years, though, to write this book? Well, I had lost my persona. I had lost my identification. I went through a very rough time. I was uh, mispronounced an epileptic. And oh, my gosh. It, frighten it was a frightening experience. You were mispronounced an epileptic? Yes. Wh why? You were having... I, mis mis I should say misdiagnosed. Uh, I was given a uh, dial lantern, uh, a little white pill, a uh, Ritalin, Librium, two sleeping pills at night, oh for three gosh. times a day. And that can do a great deal of harm to your body. And finally, it did paralyze me, and I went into a coma. Mm. And the doctors completely took me off all medication and gave me tests. and. It was through my husband, Jim Hannaford, who I am married to now. Uh, when Jim proposed to me, I told him I couldn't marry him because I had, I had this affliction and I couldn't cope with it. And he somehow didn't believe it. And he started inquiries and the first thing he did was go to the DMV because the doctor has to report it. Mm -hmm. Because in case you do go into a seizure, you are... Uh, you know, you could kill somebody. It's very well, was dangerous. The, was the book therapeutic for you to write? Yes, it was. And uh, we found out in the pro process I never had a epilepsy. It was all frame up. And they took my child away because of that. That's why you didn't get custody yes. then. Is that the reason? Yes. And you say you're afraid of, with Marlon's behavior, that's what you're really afraid of. That I am very afraid of it, yes. Because of your son? Because of my why? son. Why? Uh, Marlon is very erratic. Uh, he is not a good family man. Uh, a child needs discipline. He needs schooling. It's very important. He needs his meals on time. He needs to go to bed at a certain time. He knows uh, how far he can go, what to do, what not to do. He cannot be permissive. Marlon is not that kind of a disciplinarian. Do you see your son now? Oh, yes, I do. Do you? Uh, well, what's he doing? Has he fared well? He's 21 uh, years old. Yes, he lives up in Oregon. He bought himself a piece of land, and he's farming up there now. Well, do you and Marlon have any contact now? What no. Do you don't know what he thought of the book? Uh, <laughs> I don't <laughs> think he liked it. No, no, but you haven't had any direct feedback? No. From yeah. him. Well, the one thing that amazed me, in the book, you talk about his bringing home a young woman that he was having an affair with while yes. you were married. Yes. What were the circumstances? How did that happen? I mean, isn't uh, that an awful brazen thing to do? It is very brazen, and it shocked me. I was very pregnant at the time, and uh, the girl was Franz New, and I remember. Uh, I was just in my lo lounging pajamas. I had just got up from bed. And I wasn't looking my best, and in walks this very glamorous girl, and I thought, I don't like that too much. And uh, I But think then she started chatting you about using curry or something? Yeah, she told me, uh, because I was breastfeeding my baby, uh, and I was eating curry, that it was bad for the, for the baby. And I asked her, what, 
what her, were her qualifications that she can make such a statement. After all, she wasn't a mother. And the thing that irritated me most was she went into the ice box and I happened to love mangoes and she took the last mango. Oh my gosh, she didn't.